We'll take a look at number eight and number nine. Number eight from the integer test asks us which expression is equivalent to 19 minus 27. Well, if we use the keep, one way to think about this is if we use the keep change change approach, we can turn this into addition. So we'd say 19 plus, so we change, keep change, negative 27. Well, let's look at this. All right. Well, that's the opposite. That's just reversing the subtraction. So negative, so 27 minus 19 is going to be positive. 19 minus 27 is going to be negative. So not that one. This is just reversing the signs of everything on the inside. This is the same as negative 19 plus negative 27. It's going to be negative, but it's going to be a whole lot more negative than what we want. Negative 19 just doesn't make any sense. What does that have to do with subtracting 27 from 19? We'd have to subtract 38 from 19 to get to negative 19. Because 38 is twice 19. However, this one does do the keep change change approach where it converts the subtraction into addition. So this is our correct answer. And we can also prove it by figuring out what they equal. So 19 minus 27, uh, we would go 19 down to get to zero, and we would still have some more to go. So after zero, we would have another eight to go after that. So we'd be at negative eight. So let's test that out with this one. Is this gonna give us the same thing? So 19 plus negative 27, another way to think of it is this is going to give us a negative. So let's go ahead and reverse our subtraction. Say 27 minus 19, and remember that the answer is gonna be negative. Okay, we have to borrow, so that's a one. That's a 17, 17 minus nine is eight. One minus one is nothing. We know our answer is negative. So this equals negative eight, and this equals negative eight. So those are equivalent expressions. And then we'll take a look at number nine. I'm gonna draw a representation of the number on the number line that shows us five minus eight plus one. All right. You can do it a couple of ways. You could start, just say, okay, we're starting at five. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and do this. I'm gonna draw an arrow to five, say plus five, and then I'm going to subtract eight. I'm gonna just make this like this. Go down five, add another three more. That's minus eight, because five, and three is eight. And then I've got to add one more. So here I am at negative three. I'll go up one more plus one. And I am at negative two. So zoom out a little bit so you can see that. Plus five minus eight plus one equals negative two.